Hi guys, Steve Good here with the Scroll Saw Workshop. Been working on a new program this weekend and I've got it completed just enough to let some of you guys uh, give it a try. Um, it's still definitely in the beta stage and I'm sure there's bugs and some features that need to be added, but I thought I'd go ahead and release it, let some of you guys that are a little more skilled with your computer uh, play with it for a while and let me know if you have any issues. What this new program does is similar to the scroll saw pattern printer and the keychain printers that I've already released. Uh, what this one does is make desk nameplates like the one you see here in front of you. Um, it also is going to have a few other features that I'll show you here in the video that uh, hopefully I can uh, flush out and uh, and uh, make it look uh, the way I want. If you look at this uh, particular nameplate, you'll see that it's using a stencil font. And uh, it's a little hard to see in this picture, but the uh, the uh, bottom of this plate is cut on an angle and it kind of leans back a little bit and gives it kind of a nice look. So I'm going to show you the program here that I've created to uh, make this pattern for you a little easier. And this is it. It's a scroll saw workshop stencil printer. And basically what it does is it allows you to text in or type in some text. Uh, let me go back. and adjust it within this uh, block to create a pattern. So in this case, let's say we want to make the font a little bigger and we want to move it down a little bit in the center. Now we could go ahead and uh, click the print button. That'll bring up our print dialog box. We can go ahead and click print and uh, print it out on a uh, in the landscape mode on an 11 inch piece of paper. Uh, I'm going to go through a couple of the controls here. This up here is obviously the ruler for the length of the plate you're going to print out. Uh, this slider obviously adjusts the size of the font. This one allows you to adjust the length of the blank. This one allows you to adjust the height of the blank. These two text position sliders allow you to move this, uh, the uh, text around a little bit and I'll show you a good use for that here in a minute. Uh, the bottom one allows you to change the corners if you can see how the corners are rounding out there. Uh, so that's all there is to positioning and creating the text and printing it out. Uh, the reason I added some of these features is because let's say we wanted to uh, create a, uh, a keychain, we could actually go ahead and reduce the size of our font Take the width of this over to say, let's say uh, two inches, two and a half inches. Round the corners off all the way. Increase the size of the font again. Let's go ahead and move it back up to the center. Move it a little bit over to the edge. And let's take the height of this back up. And as you can see, we could print that out and uh, drill a hole in this in it, and we would have a keychain pattern. Another feature that I've added to this program is the ability to select a font. Now obviously to be able to cut these out they need to be stencil type fonts and I'll go ahead and install one of them. This one right here will be installed with the program but any stencil font you have. Uh, for instance if you click on fonts I've got a uh, font installed called Dolph that if we install that You can see we have a fancy script font that we could use in our pattern. So I think you can see that this is going to add a lot of uh, features to this program that are going to allow you to do more than uh, just the normal stencil fonts here. Also, and I haven't got this flushed out yet, if I go down to these scroll saw fonts and add these scroll saw fonts, you can see that we can go ahead and create the nameplate patterns like we have on some of the other programs that I've produced. Uh, so we could go ahead and just uh, square these corners off, print this out, and you can see we have a regular nameplate that uh, that we can stand up and use. So again, you can see I've got a few problems here with these fonts overlapping, not looking exactly the way I want. Um, one more feature is the save to bitmap. We can actually save this font or this uh, uh, particular pattern to a bitmap graphic and you could load it into another program to manipulate it. 
Uh, if I hit the, the reset, it just resets all the sliders back to normal. And of course, exit is exit. So that's a new program I've been working on. Uh, again, there are going to be some bugs. Uh, I haven't run into anything serious yet, uh, but I'm sure there will be. I will upload the install program for this uh, scroll saw stencil printer program and that that name's not even going to uh, stay the same I'm going to change it eventually as soon as I can figure out what I want it to be uh, so some of you guys that uh, like to play with this kind of stuff go ahead and download this program and you'll be able to find it at uh, the, the blog and I'll have the uh, uh, URL for the blog below this video for those of you that are watching it on YouTube so go ahead and download it bang on it a little while and let me know what you think I'm Steve Good. Thanks for being here with me at the Scroll Saw Workshop, and we'll catch you next time.